Hi, I'm Onta Banis, and welcome back to Hit It or Miss It, where all things pop culture and style are covered. Recently, disturbing new details were released in a domestic abuse case between popular rapper ex Success Tentaciones and his ex-girlfriend. Ex has been charged with aggravated battery of a pregnant woman, false imprisonment, domestic battery by strangulation, and witness tampering. Despite the public knowing of the case, X still has a large fan base and continues to have support from his fans. This trend has showed up in cases of other celebrities such as Johnny Depp, Chris Brown, Charlie Sheen, CeeLo Green, and many others. This brings up the question, why do artists who have cases of domestic violence still have a large fan base? Does the music industry have an abuse culture or does it perpetuate it? I sat down with Marianne Winters, the executive director of Safe Passage, a social service organization for victims of domestic abuse in Northampton, to find out about the mental and physical abuse in a domestic violence case. The better question is, why do people perpetrate violence in relationships? So I think until we, as a society, can go to that question first, we're not going to get an answer. But the, you know, the real answer from real life situations is again a range, similar to the range of impacts. Um, one of the biggest dynamics is fear. And so if violence has happened in a relationship, very often that, has, that goes along with threats. You leave me and I will hurt your family. I will kill the pet. I will, you'll be penniless. You know, I will take the kids in court. And in the case of someone who has more power because they're a star in the music industry. Um, I have the money to hire the lawyers to take your child away to, um, you know, and sometimes it's even to like, you know, take out a contract on your mother, on whoever's. So, you know, abusive people are very good at finding out what the vulnerable points are and what's important to the victim and then threatening to take that away. Even after details of abuse cases come out, often artists continue to remain popular and still bring in revenue. To get a student's point of view, I talked with feminist collective member and NHS junior Zalia Maya. A lot of people enjoy his music, but they still don't think that what he did was good at all. Um, and so they feel that they can say stuff like, oh, I like his music, but like that doesn't mean I like him as a human being, but you're still supporting him and his career and his lifestyle while you're supporting his music. What do you believe? Do you believe the music industry has a problem of domestic abuse? Does the industry have an abuse culture? I'm Odette Bennis, and I'll see you next week on Hit It or Miss It.